I think most people know exactly what New York values are. I am from New York. I well, 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 you're from New York, so yeah. you might not. But I promise you, in the state of South Carolina, they do. When the World Trade Center came down, I saw something that no place on Earth could have handled more beautifully, more humanely than New York. We rebuilt downtown Manhattan, and everybody in the world watched, and everybody in the world loved New York and loved New Yorkers. And I have to tell you, that was a very insulting statement that Ted made. And just to prove that point, take a look at a New York Daily News cover. Among many that have been zinging Ted Cruz, let's just say New Yorkers don't forget, and could they hold it out against Ted Cruz? Uh, when the state votes about 12 days from now in a crucial primary. Uh, former Senator Phil Graham of the fine state of Texas, who is endorsing Ted Cruz on that. Senator, always good to have you. Will this come back to bite him, you think? Thank you, Neil. Well, you miss that page in How to Win Friends and Influential Influence People, I guess. No, look, I'm sure Ted Cruz's mama's already jumped on him about the statement. Believe it or not, very smart people can say dumb things. I think the important thing that's appealing about Ted Cruz to New Yorkers and everybody else is where he stands on the issues. If you're looking for a candidate to reduce the size of government, to expand opportunity, to get all the special interest crap out of the tax code, and to make tough choices, Ted Cruz is your man. Uh, uh, I don't know whether Ronald Reagan loved Texas or not. I never asked him. Uh, but I know we had a program that I believed in with all my heart. That's why I supported it. All right. I, you know, I do remember the New York Values comment at the FBM debate. Uh, and I, I kind of knew what he was saying. But I always felt that from the moment he said it, he, had, he realized how dumb it was and how it would come back to hurt him particularly in New York. Now, it does not hurt him in other parts of the country, and, and, and that doesn't surprise me, but it, I think it's going to hurt him here, especially with John Kasich still well, in the race. He could, in, at least a New York senator, end up coming in, in third in New York. What, what, do you, what do you think if that happens? Well, you know, I think there are cliches about New York, a New York minute, uh, for example, I worked in New York for nine years. Uh, there is, there are New York values: hard work, uh, fierce competitiveness. Yeah, but that's not I, I what your was guy was moment, talking about. That's state. not what your guy was talking no, about. No, I understand. But look, look, the what is important here is what do, do the candidates propose to do about the massive problems facing the country. To me, when you look at the two choices, and we're really down now to two choices, uh, Ted Cruz is right on the issues. Nobody has the foggiest idea where uh, Donald Trump is. He doesn't know where he is. Now, do you so, worry, though, that I, as someone who's been pushing, but, but someone who's been pushing for Ted Cruz, and you've been a good friend and, and, and pushing, the, the idea that he's got, you know, uphill math here. Uh, but that we're going to get to a convention where no one will be, be near that 1,237. The argument goes that in successive ballots, it hurts Donald Trump more than it hurts Ted Cruz. Do you, do you buy that? Yeah, look, first of all, I think everybody's made too much of who's going to have the most delegates when they go to the convention. If you don't have the majority, you don't have a winning hand, guaranteed. All over the country, uh, you have runoffs. And that, in essence, is what that will be. I think nobody is going to have a majority. I think Ted Cruz's chances of being the nominee are as good uh, as Donald Trump's. I think so that no, the but moment, my, my question is, I'm sorry I wasn't clear, Senator, is that if we get to a second or yeah. third ballot, that it helps your candidate more than it does Donald Trump, that, that it's more likely that Trump delegates peel off than Cruz delegates? Yeah, I think that's right. And okay. I think Cruz has done a better job of building grassroots support. I think he will get most of the delegates that the other candidates that have dropped out of the race have won. Um, if I were betting money today, I would bet that Trump will go to the convention with more delegates, but not a majority. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And I think Ted Cruz, I would take a 50-50 bet that Ted Cruz will be the nominee. You're a bold better, aren't you? I mean, you are a real riverboat gambler. All right, Senator, it's always a pleasure, sir. Thank well, you. Well, can I say one more thing Please about do. New York? Yes. I, I think Ted uh, Cruz is in a position that he almost is in a no-lose situation. I think people expect Trump to win. He's got all the pressure. He needs to win by a big majority. Um, oh, so I think yeah. if, you've, if, if you made a stupid statement somewhere, this is as good a place to have made as any other. But I think in the end, right. this is too serious a contest gotcha. to take a bad statement. All right. Take well, care. I never made a stupid statement, only when it's on prompter. But, Senator, thank you very much. Good seeing you again, Phil Graham. I've made plenty of them. Tell Thank me. You. Uh, I, I, I can outdo you on that, my friend.